okay so i think uh, okay so i was going to start a hotel revenue management today uh, hotel revenue uh, dashboard today i guess but uh, i think we'll go with the previous class dashboard that we are making before uh, that was that uh, hr dashboard i think that wasn't complete and uh, and i uh... hello yes mm. yes i want to ask something yeah yes yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. yes so this is the second class right yes so when was the first class i think the first class was on 4th of february so 4th 4th of february february So, so actually the thing is i didn't get the video of their class so uh okay sunil sir will provide you the videos what? i think it's already uploaded on youtube okay uh you'll get the videos yes so that's why i was telling that because uh, so many of you haven't uh, received the first class or haven't done the first class so that's why i think we'll go with the previous project which is i think oh, it, no actually yeah actually the Actually, the thing is, they they didn't share the link of the first class. Okay, I'll tell. I mean, the Zoom meeting. I think I also have the link. I guess. I mean, I... No, no, you are not getting my point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello, Anime sir. I know you guys haven't got. Sir, it. actually, the um, sir actually the both batches have merged later. Yeah, uh, before that, there was only also for Team Sixteen. Mm -hmm. So the first class, I think uh, team 16 and Bangalore batch were there. Team 15 was not there, I know. And you guys don't have the link of the yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm going to start. I'm going to revise the previous class and then we'll uh, go into other stuff. Is that a problem? No. Yes, sir. That would be better. Okay, sir. So uh, does anyone want to share the screen? Okay, let me give permission. Somebody from the previous class who has done the uh, assignment red given. Okay, I think permission is already given. Um, Nitin, do you want to? Previous class was all about downloading Power BI, which is easy from Microsoft Store, and then uh, making KPIs, okay? Uh, make KPIs are mostly cards and card represents some sort of data which uh, can be operated through uh, like uh, for example uh, for example okay let me share my screen you can understand better. so this was the data file Excel. Share data. Okay, this is our file. Okay, this is HR data, and uh, so from the ones from the previous class, let's do a revision. So, what is attrition? What do you mean by attrition? As I already explained. No one. Had already. How many people are leave the? So company? how many how many employees are leave from the company? Yeah. People who have left. I think that is attrition. So what is yes and no? See. So attrition is yes. Somewhere attrition is no. The meaning of attrition is simply uh, if that employee has left the company or not. So from, for example, there is a employee ID 4 and attrition level is he's the next employee. So as the attrition is yes, it's he is an he's or she is the next employee. He is from the department of R&D, okay. Education field, uh, other, the life sciences, medical, so I think it's on uh, something else. He's employee number is staff 4. He is uh, a male 
and uh, laboratory technician is the role and these are all the data okay so all the data that is available i think okay let me go through the data okay you guys uh, everyone has the file i guess it has 41 kind of columns a lot of columns uh, so that makes it better to analyze okay wait a second for now so this is cf current employee employee count environment satisfaction so these are ratings okay how much the employee has given uh, the employee satisfaction rating out of 5 i guess this is the hourly rate of employees this is the job involvement okay this is the rating of job involvement job level and this is job satisfaction monthly income so these are the metrics in which companies i think these are in chart dashboard okay sample hr dashboard these are the metrics in which a company decides that how to Im improve the lifestyle of their employees and also how to improve the productivity of company so example if the like people have given job satisfaction 3 3 2 4 1 so the person who has given that job satisfaction of 1 should be uh, asked about the like what are the what are the problems that he faces in the office and uh, like what is this like input that he wants to give to the office environment that the office environment works in a better way okay so these are all the metrics you will understand monthly income okay hourly rate uh, sorry monthly rate and uh, this is relationship satisfaction okay everything the hr of a company uh, or human resource department of a company what they do is they rate they take ratings from everyone like the company hr like the company boss okay how the boss rates his employees also the employees how the employee rates his or her boss okay uh, how do they uh, rate their salary how do they rate their relationship satisfaction because for a company it's also important to know that if their uh, uh, customer uh, if their uh, employees are having a good relationship uh, status or not okay so everything is important for a company and that is where hr comes on okay so for hr these things for a like uh, a modern hr and modern nature these things are very important okay yes since last promotion so these are also the like for example you have uh, forgotten somebody's promotion okay so this person hasn't been promoted for seven years of course they'll feel something is wrong with the company and they'll go to ambition box they'll go to somewhere and they'll give a bad review of the company okay because you have forgot that this employee had to be given a promotion and how many employees does the company have see the company has 1471 kind of employees so the company might forget one or two promotions like this person also has hasn't got a promotion for 10 years okay so these are the problems that a company face faces while uh like uh handling out a you know hr while handling out hr stuff so these are the problems and attrition is one of the main problems because while analyzing what do you want to know that for example in this uh, excel file mostly uh, the uh, i think the same point i was discussing in the previous class that uh, that attrition mostly attrition happened when the relationship statuses were like uh, yeah for single people attrition happened more i guess yes that was the data why you have to analyze that why are single people getting like leaving the job more and why are married people see married people and attrition is no attrition no means the person has not left the job so this is one data that single people are uh, like uh, leaving the job more there is one another data that you have from here that uh, uh, i think uh, except the single citizens i think from the r and d i think uh, there was a high rate of uh, like uh, what do you say attrition from the r and d department so people are not liking to work in the r and d department there's something wrong for example uh, there might be some boss that they don't like okay there must be some hr that they don't like there must be something there must be some problem there must be yeah. okay so mm, there must be something that the ac is not working okay <laughs> in the hr in the r and d department so there might be many problems so in this dashboard we solve all these problems and we figure out that why the company is not doing well and how the company can do better so that's where analytics comes along okay so you have to analyze this this is the table that hr has like uh, uh collected by his hard work and now this is 
in front of us and now we're going to make something out of it okay how do you do that let's go to power bi dashboard okay power bi uh, as i've told it's available on microsoft store and you can easily download that from the microsoft store it's, it's, a, it's a free software okay it's a microsoft software and uh, yeah it's very user friendly and all this stuff so these are the cards okay so this is a card what is card? a card is a kpi okay and this is how to like select cards see so this is a card one two three okay one two three is represented card so i'll choose one two three card and it'll like manage you can manage the card like that okay? you can uh, select a card like that and then in the card you have to choose for example i'm showing you this I'm selecting a card and uh okay filling in the blank space i'm selecting a card okay so i have another card now so what do we uh, like uh, choose in this card? What do you want to show in this card? So for example, see this is our Excel sheet, okay? And this M, this rotated M means Sigma. What is Sigma? Sigma is summation, okay? The, uh, as we have learned in maths, okay? Correct. Now, for example, we have to do, we have to print something on this card, okay? You can print anything. So for example, uh, let's print a valid thing. I'll take questions for the next two, three minutes after I finish performing this card. Okay. Um... So this is something I've made. If I choose age band and you have to drag and drop actually. 25 to 34, okay. First year age band. So for example, this just for uh, representative purposes. Sorry. So I've chosen this and I've dragged and dropped into fields. And when I drag and drop this into this, something like this happens. More options. Okay, I can remove this. Uh, for example, now uh, let's take a good example. Uh, I've made a card and now I want to show a summation of see of current employees. So number of current employees is one, two, three, three. See? This file one two three three and how to make this into this in areas. So first, for example, so what happened here is I had go to, I had gone to this okay format your visual and now so this looks better than this right? Everybody can agree with this. This will be better. Why? This was for example I have uh, changed this title so I have given it a title. See, it's an active employee. There is a title. Then I have uh, given it a bolder look. See, it's a gray area. The grayer part of the heading is uh, is more grayer than uh, the whole body of the card. Okay, whole body of the KPI. We'll address them as KPIs. Okay, it's a better term. And now, okay, these are the numbers. So, for example, this color combination that I've taken. Okay, is somebody saying something? No. So, uh, for example, we have uh, this twelve thirty three. Okay, we are going to edit it. How do you edit it? Uh, category label off. So our label is off. Okay. What is our label? This little thing here was our label. We have erased our label. Okay. Now we turn on the title. Now, when we turn on the title, what do we have? We have a text that you can give. So employees, see. We can have employees like that. It is because we already have this. Now let's see how do we edit it more. Okay, how can we edit it in a better way? So uh, text color can be. So you know how to make this color. So let's edit this. Let's cut so that uh, it's already edited. So we will uh, find it easier to edit this. So okay. effects so these are the effects right this background and stuff okay you can also choose the transparency so see what happens when i play with the transparency so this is the complete transparency so this is the color gray is the color but as i have formatted the transparency see our background is showing a little more so our background is dark clouds okay Th this looks like dark clouds right so our background is dark clouds and see our uh, KPI is a bit transparent so that uh, 
is a bit transparent. What happens by that is, okay, I think 58% was better. So let's uh, keep it uh, balanced, right? So uh, this is what balance is. Uh, so see in the background, we'll see dark clouds. So that makes our dashboard more presentable and uh, it looks better okay, in this way. So this is how we edit a card. We select a card and we edit a card. Any questions regarding this? And we'll move to the like parts by chart. So this is the like, uh, if you explore more, you'll understand how to like, uh, so for example, the heading is in the center. So there's an alignment, okay. For example, this effects um, under the title. What is the title? See, under the title, you'll have this uh, text color, okay. And the horizontal alignment. So at centered this, okay. Also, I change the font color. Uh, font color, okay font uh, and the font size. So the font size is 14. Okay, I can increase the font size as per as much as I want. So I can also do it as 14 and it will show active employee uh, like that. So this is how it's done. Okay, so when you start exploring, you'll find a lot of options and the exploring C. The thing is uh, when you start, okay, you'll find this option disappearing when you click on the blank box. Why? Because when you don't have a card, you don't have the second option. Okay. When you select a card, only then you get the editing, your visual or formative visual thing. Okay. So a good practice, if I am to recommend is turning off the category label because you don't want category label. Okay. You want all the things to do in general. Okay. Our visual changes are not like that much important. So, okay. And everybody has a way to do this. So I prefer this way. Any questions for now? For those sir? Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sir, you said KPI, right? Yeah. So what is KPI? Anybody tell me the full form of KPI? I think I had discussed it in the previous class. No. So what is a card? Okay, KPI has everything to do with a card. So what does a card do? A card. What does a card do? A card indicates something, right? And don't Google. Okay. If anybody knows what is KPI, then because when you Google, you won't understand. So card understands a card. Performance indicator. Yes, performance indicator. Why? What What do you mean by performance indicator? KPI means key performance indicator. Okay. So it's mostly performance indicator. What is performance? What so there are like, uh, for example, I'll tell you. A KPI is something that uh, you use to indicate something. So what is this card? What is this card doing? It is indicating. What is it indicating? Performance. Okay. So what is the overall performance of the company? What is the overall performance of the company? The overall performance of the company is it can hold and it has hold, I'm like, it holds 1470 employees. Okay. This is the performance of the company, attrition. What is the performance of the, like, what is the performance not of the company here? Like, uh, how have the, how has the company performed in keeping the employees? Okay. So, KPA always asks a question. So, in here, the question is, how has the company performed in keeping its employees in the office? Okay. The company doesn't want to like uh, so attrition is the the people have left the office so they haven't been fired so that is the meaning of attrition okay if the people have been fired that's a different thing. attrition means if the com the, uh, the employees of the company have left on their own will okay so this is the company performance on keeping the employees to the office so two thirty seven okay so this is attrition rate okay. This is performance indicator. Okay, KPI is always indicates performance, right? Okay, I think that's clear. Any more questions? We'll move. I'll give a minute for more questions. And everybody will have this assignment to do this. Okay. 
to make this as you want. Okay, let's talk about the background also. Can anybody tell me how to? Uh, yeah. Hello. Okay, so uh, for example, uh, when you open this dashboard, okay, you'll have a blank. You'll have white background. So how to uh, insert a background? Okay, can anybody tell me? Anyone from the previous class? Sir, from page settings, uh, they are from canvas background. Yeah. And then uh, image from browse. Yeah. Canvas background. And then so image and download. download. Okay. Just open this, browse from your uh, computer. And, okay. So that's why, uh, that's how you find a like background. Okay. So, yeah. So choose a background from your own. I think I'll. Sir. Yeah. Sir, which font we choose from build visual data? Which font? Uh, I didn't get your question. Sir, uh, one point is the background and uh, other is the build visual. Yeah, yeah. So which font we select? Which uh, font? Like from, uh, font means the text. Font, right? Oh, not so, sorry, sir. Font means uh, which background we select. That means uh, there are so many data chart or uh, column chart, cluster bar chart here. Yeah, not here, not, uh, here. not in build visual. You have to go here. Okay. Oh, okay. Come at your report page, then canvas. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. In this in the second option. So when you open on your uh, tap on the screen, you will have two options. Okay. This build visual. Uh, which means add data to your visual. Here we'll have the KPIs. Okay, these are all KPIs. And here you'll have formatted report page. So for the first thing, the main uh, most important thing in a dashboard is the KPI and the KPIs. Okay. So for example, there's a line chart. You know what a line chart is, right? So for example, uh, in the uh, like you have a dashboard. If you I guess you guys have seen dashboards, okay. It's in the trend right now. So uh this this is a column chart, and what is this? This is a bar chart. So in today's date, line charts are used more than bar charts. Why? Because bar charts have been old charts in the sense. So people are using line charts more. So these are all KPIs. Okay. Everything is a KPI. What is this? This is a filled map. Okay. You can also do a map. So why does why do you call it a map? Because it looks like a map. It looks like a country or something like that. So yeah, it's not like completely spherical. So you have also have a pie chart. So it represents data of a pie chart. Okay. It's kind of like a pie chart, but it's like a map. It looks like a map. Right, so these are all the KPIs, and these KPIs are like really uh, cool. Okay, really good to work on. You'll explore, you'll understand. Okay, I'll show you how to work on uh, today. I'll show you how to work on this uh, column chart, and I might show you how to work on a pie chart. Okay, so that you can understand how to put data in the y-axis, x axis. So this has this y x axis, this column chart, and pie chart will have a legend. Okay, and then so okay, any more questions? Let me delete this. Uh, Sanju, your mic is on. And let's... Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, let's go directly into pie charts. Okay. It's very interesting. <laughs> okay. So Okay, let's make a pie chart. Okay, now, so if I want to make, this is a question for everyone. Okay, if I want to make that, how many employees have left the company? Why are you leaving your mics on? <laughs> if I want to make a table, okay, if I want to make a pie chart uh, addressing the fact that how many people have left the company? department wise okay 
so in a pie chart okay if you guys have read pie charts very seriously you will have you will understand that in a, in every chart there is a legend okay if somebody can tell what legend is it's very good okay legend and there is values there is details and what there is tool tips so for now let's not talk about tool tips okay data fields we know what data fields are and uh, because data fields are like our fields in which we put the data so these also have data fields okay fields this is the data field right so let's go into the pie chart now our pie chart will be department wise attrition okay so department wise attrition so see here department wise attrition the legend will be department okay department is a legend and we drag and drop okay department and so in pie chart how do you represent pie chart by two entities right so one is department so other will be department wise attrition so what is the other field what is the other field value attrition No one. Right. Count of attrition, isn't it? This is the total count of attrition. And now, okay. So these values might look uh, a little bit hazy. Okay, how to improve that? We'll tell. You. We'll go through it. how to improve that. So it looks hazy to me also, not you guys. Okay. So okay, we'll go here and uh, let's change the title. Title it. Uh, what is the title? Department wise, what department wise petition? Okay, so you see, you can see this. And also we need to expand this so that we can understand it better. Still it's easy, right? Because of the gray colored values. We don't want values in gray color. Can you not unmute your mic? Okay. So, so uh, department is better. Okay. Now let's make these values a little bit better for understanding. Okay. So, how do you do that? Any suggestions? How to make this better? You don't have to tell what you are doing. Do. Just tell me what editing that we need to do. Just tell me the editing options. So I'll I'll tell one thing. Okay, we'll have to like this is a solid color like this background. We'll have to make this transparent. One thing. Anything else? Just give me suggestions for editing. This is like uh, simple editing. Algorithm part is done. This is the algorithm part. Department is attrition. This is like department attrition, all that stuff. Now we move on to the editing part. Any advice? Any editing advice? No. You can go to FX. Effect. FX, FX. Okay. What can you do with FX, FX? Effect, effect. Okay. 
what what do you want to do with effects that's what i'm telling see i'm not telling you the technical term to tell me the technical term we want color no that's why you want color ha uh, same like uh, attrition and uh, attrition rate like is there no like that okay. effect okay you can give 50% here yeah. so you need color white only or gray 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 yes so let's go to gray this this one right yes for this one i don't remember ah uh, that any okay uh let's do everything 58% right okay now it looks more easy yes it will but it won't for a long time because we'll do something more with this okay now how to uh, like make these colors uh, how to change the colors of these like uh okay now we have this title effect sharing icons property tool tips right now we'll go to visual so as you remember there is legends okay now position is center right center right is okay text let us change the text color what color would be suitable more what is more visible is this visible no what is more visible uh let's see what is more visible is blue visible yes blue is more visible right and let's change the font size to 20 20 is yes, no visible 14 is good this is good right yes yeah very nice now it's also blue is complementing this gray color isn't it Yes. Yes. So okay, these are like simple editing tips. You can't choose a color that doesn't uh, you know complement the. So okay, this one is done. Now we need to change this. Okay, this also. How do you do that? We'll come step by step. So first, uh, this title. Okay, department. How do we? Okay, title is here only. so first of all change the color of the title so choose a color that will show better i think sky blue looks good right no does it let's change the font let's make it 20 still is it properly visible this one uh i'm hoping you guys are also following me uh, on your desktop so because these things will forget very easily so keep following it's not very hard to forget these steps so you'll like you'll have a hard time remembering these things like uh text title slices okay next step let's work on the text a little more uh slices colors r and d sales okay slices color is a good um and what else detail levels okay right so yeah any more suggestions the percentages color are not visible what color the yeah, percentage color yeah percentage i'll do that i'll do that any more say except than that other than that you miss something right see you know all these this is what's missing so we need to do that also so first of all heading always looks better when it's center aligned right so let's make our setting it is center aligned okay good what is the next step background color 
background color means the heading's background okay so heading background gray is a good color see now the blue color is really anything else i'll do that okay we'll come to that later so first uh, let's sort this out anything else anything else comes to mind No? Okay. So okay, let's do the detail levels also. These are detail levels. Okay. The values are uh, in gray. Let's pick a better color than gray. Pick a color. Purple. Purple is nice. Yellow. 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 I think won't be visible. Okay. Let's try yellow. I think uh, dark yellow won't be visible. Light yellow. Yeah. Okay. Yellow is good. Light yellow is good. Uh, the font size, fourteen. Nice. No. Nine is good. Okay. Fourteen is too much. So now it's visible, right? Sixty-three. Okay. Four forty-six. Thirty point three. I think the. Uh, I need to expand this a little more. Yeah, yeah, like this. So let's see how much it wants. Sir, how to change in the heading color? Heading this one. Ah, yes. Okay. See title. Uh, general and then go to title okay and in title you have uh, this text color background color go to the background color you will be able to change the heading of the title okay so the text color is blue okay, okay. is understood okay. but if this is percentage is there no in pie chart uh, 63 yeah that color oh that color yes yeah. that color you'll have to do by this detail levels and in detail levels you will get values so so these are legends okay this r and d is hr these are legends and these are these percentage values are detail levels and detail levels are you can change that by this okay 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 yellow okay got it okay now let's uh, have okay, so. questions to have and then we'll move on to the uh, bar chart Sir, you get in title, uh, white space is there, no, sir? In title. Yeah. That uh, white space, how get uh, white space? This white space. Ah, yes. I showed you, no? This general and then, uh, yeah. Title. In title, in general, you have title. Okay. In title, you'll have this background color. Ah, yes. Yes. Like okay, this. okay. Okay, okay, sir. Let's sum up. This is how you make a pie chart. First of all, okay. This is legend department. These values count of attrition, and okay. And what is count of attrition? Let's understand this also, right? So this blue is R and D. So mostly in R and D, nine sixty one employees have left, which is see. 
will also have the detailed number also see when i click on 961 it will show me that it, i don't have to click okay it automatically shows so 65.37 percent okay 65.37 percent of people have left for anid department 961 people have left 31.34 percent of people have left from uh, what sales department and only four percent of people have left from hr department okay so HR department is quite quite happy, I guess. Like four percent people have left. Right? Uh, so it happens like that. Ninety two sixty three. All right. I think counter attrition. Why is it showing nine sixty one? Let's take something else. Students for nine sixty one. We'll have to choose some of attrition count. Okay, I think this is a wrong file that we've taken. So the total attrition is nine uh, two thirty seven. Yep. So why is it showing nine sixty one for one file? Never sum of attrition. What is this? Hmm. Let's Okay, now it's proper. See, this is, this is the proper. Uh, uh, let's erase that. Yeah, now it's proper. See, this is the proper fact. So, 133 people have left from RD, 92, okay, and 12. Okay, so if you add 133 plus 92, uh, becomes 200 and like. Uh, 25, 225, okay, and then 12, 237. So that is the total number of employees left. That was a wrong color, okay, correct. Right? So total 237 people have left, 133 from the RD department, uh, 92 from the sales department, and 12 from the HR department, okay, correct. Now let's make another bar chart, okay. Uh, any suggestions? What should be the bar chart be upon? I'll take any suggestions. So let's uh, first. Uh, Choose a column chart. Oh, sorry. Let's choose a column chart. Okay, new column chart. And let's arrange this so that it doesn't. Uh, let's make it more horizontally. Good. Hmm. Now, in the bar chart, there is an x axis, there is a y axis, correct? And there is a legend. So, small multiples, we don't have to think about that. We have to think about these things. So, there is an x axis, there is a y axis. Now, we'll do it on the basis of the uh, first of all, the, the x axis will be our uh, age, and y axis will be our sum of employee count, okay? So there is a range of age, okay. For example, like 20 to 25, well, 22, I guess. In this Excel file, what was the age? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, 35 to 44, 45 to 54, okay, 25 to 34, over 55, 125. These are all the ranges, I think. I don't think any more anything else was there because minimum age was 25 in this company, no, nothing less than 25. Right? So, okay. Uh, or do you want to make something else? So that so what I'm making right now is uh, the uh, sum of employee count by age. Okay. So y axis always remains at the first. Okay. Y axis because this is y axis and this is x axis. The vertical is y axis. The uh, horizontal is x axis. So the vertical is always the first. Okay. So if I put age at x axis and I put 
sum of employee count at y axis so it will be written as sum of employee count by uh, what age and the legend okay let's suppose what can be the legend uh, okay age and gender could mix well so the legend will be uh, gender male or female okay you want to try this or something else i'm open for suggestions you want this graph so this graph will be very pretty much basic you want something else so well, let's try this graph on uh page band see a page band is our x axis what is our uh, uh sum of employee count i guess sum let's not search like that employee count employee count that uh, see this sum so sum of employee count okay and uh, legend is gender so how will be gender be uh, shown here see like this so there will be a line i'm supposing i don't know i think i don't remember properly but i think yeah i think gender will be like this okay half 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 okay. and gender only has two values male or female so it's very easy to so always choose legends in a way that uh, yeah the legends mostly are binary okay so yes or no okay male female here also we we have chosen the legend i think we have chosen department so only three okay legends should be always less if our legends are more than problem cause a little problem okay now let's expand this because it's not visible plain it will be visible after some time but we edit this so how do we edit this quickly quickly this but in our in our pie chart not having sum of uh, current employees sum of current employees in pie chart in uh, in hr data on that uh, excel sheet sir yeah so, uh, in excel sheet yes not have sum of, of current employees sum of current employees there is active employees or overall employees current employee right Yes, sir. Employee is active employee. Why it doesn't have? Because while making the sum of current employees, do you guys remember that I have made this new measure while doing this? See the calculator sign here. It was made uh, measure. Okay, follow the video. Okay, you you have attended the class video, Vinod, right? Sir, you have attended the class, right? Uh, the first class. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Ah, uh, there is a uh, measure. Okay, how to create measures? Okay, it will uh, takes. 5 10 minutes more so i am not explaining i'll send you the video you guys will know uh, both the like batch 15 batch 16 batch 7 batch 16 and bangalore batch already has the video how to create a measure is already in the video okay i'll send you you guys can see how to create a measure but Maj for me not send her that video you not got the video you've got the video yes sir power bi session you have not got the video no no i didn't send the that video sir okay i'll send to everyone i think sunit sir and it's already uploaded on youtube okay i'll send i'll send after the class okay okay uh so this is how we create a measure so a uh, very good question excel sheet active employees was not there in excel sheet okay current employee i have created this active employee column okay new column so it can be done one two methods okay just for the revision uh one by creating a new measure which i have shown and also the other one uh, by uh, creating a conditional column okay so both uh, both things work okay. i uh, i have two videos on the power bi session one both will be sent to you okay again if you don't have no problem to both batches just right after the class okay so let's edit this for now because today we don't want a new measure because we have already created two three new measure attrition rate new measure active employees new measure that's why you don't want to create i've already done i think what i needed to do in the minutes uh okay let's uh, format the title text color is black is black good no let's not keep it black let's keep it this uh and our background is gray also 
alignment is this and our heading is sum of current employees by age band and gender so so what can be the title any suggestions for the title the title is sum of cf current employees by cf age band and gender so a title can be number of employee by gender ah yes sir number of employees by gender so gender wise current employee yes gender wise current employee is also good gender and age band wise gender wise current employees yes anything else so uh, uh, i think uh, keep the employee at first okay because this is an employee employee graph so in your suggestions okay let's see uh, uh, employee at first so number of employees by uh, what number of employees by age group number of employees by uh, uh, what age and gender okay gender wise number of employees all these titles are valid okay you can use everything you can also use uh, gender of current employees okay that also works but for now okay we'll use number of employees by by gender uh h Age. Age and gender, right? Also, a font size needs a bit of upgrade. It will be twenty. The twenty is most good. Now, uh, let's format our religions and stuff. X-axis. Uh, 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 values. Okay. X-axis values. How do we keep our x-axis values? What is our x-axis? This is our x-axis, right? Uh, let's choose a color. I think yellow looks good. I think. Okay, I was formatting y-axis by mistake. No, the color yellow would look on x-axis better. I think. Y axis it won't make much difference. Okay, let's change the background first. Uh, how to change the background? Any ideas? Effect. Yes. Let's choose gray and let's make it transparent. Very transparent. Right? So yellow looks better than gray. That's why yellow gray is a good combination. And uh, as our x-axis is yellow, we should make the y-axis something different. Ethically. So what do you make our y-axis? Let's see. This is a good color. Try green. Green. Okay. No problem. Yeah, green also makes sense. will change our y axis why is our x axis getting changed yeah green we have green here no more colors this 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 green i think it this green is good right Is this getting good? Two hundred, four hundred, nine hundred. Okay, it looks good enough. And this should be a little bit bigger, okay, because of obvious reasons. Should look a little bit. Yeah, I think four hundred, two hundred. What is this like? In the age thirty-five to forty-four, we have. See what is this? uh so the colors what does the color represent 
this and this so this is the color of uh, like female okay light blue and uh, the dark blue represents male so see is the summation of both so we have 182 to female employees and 272 male employees which makes a total of 400 plus okay sir you can change to gender male female color that color also yeah what color do you want we can do anything you want let us think data labels let's change the data labels also oh no data labels we have uh, turned off right oh. okay any more suggestions okay we know session is uh, we are changing the color of male and female okay. anything else is not change sir yeah in gender gender female and male is there no sir number of employees down sir yeah yeah you can change that color what color red red we know they couldn't get you red color we can change red color yeah. yes red red Th that's no sir in upside having upside upside this number of employees down sir ah yes that, that. ah yes gender male female okay okay I'll, i'll change this number of employees you want red ah no no down this, side this one you want ah yes okay. ah yes, yes i'll change this color anything else but that one is not visible no that's why i am telling yeah yeah, yeah. i'll change Hmm. Also, it's a very uh, see. If you guys have noticed something, so it's very like when I touch this, it will only all like show me number of female employees one eighty two. When I touch this, it will show me two seventy two. Okay, I want it without touching. Okay, so I want this label without needing to do some more work. Okay, I'm saving myself some work. So what do I do? I just turn on what data levels. See, very easy. All right. Anything else? And under twenty five, under fifty five is too little, so we can't show this. If I extend it, see, it will show. So I don't want to extend it for representative purposes. Also in the y-axis, if you guys have noticed something, this is this thing is also not visible. Okay, so we'll also change that. And our legend is gender, so we want to do this, right? So we'll have to change this legend. What is our legend? Next color is green. What color do you suggest? Purple. Purple doesn't look good. Red, I think, won't match. Okay, red will be a Batman type of like gray and red. Okay, so we're not going to that. Uh, let's do something that is more. Uh, What about pink? Pink. Yeah, pink looks good. Pink on gray is good. Uh. Let's change the font to fourteen. No, it's not visible. Let's choose a lighter shade of pink. Yeah, visible. So this is our gender: male, female. This is this. Also, we need to make this visible. Also, okay. how do you do that? It's on the y-axis. So. Let's go by logic. Okay, this on the y-axis. So we'll when I want to edit this, I will go to the y-axis and then I'll do stuff like uh, <laughs> values title. A title is on. 
uh, and change the values. Color. So what you've learned is dark colors don't work okay in this file. Only go for light colors. Yeah, only go for light colors. And text working. Good. Sum of CS, CF current employees. So our text will be current employees. Right. And a little more. I think the font is still pretty much weird. But we'll have to go with that because it's so small. <clears throat> so, this is our bar graph. Any more additions to this? See, there is one other thing, right? The title of x axis. You have to change that also. Uh, x axis title. So, as this is a representation software, okay. So, we will have to invest a lot of time in editing. That's part, part of the process. Okay, age band doesn't look nice. So, so what can be a good title for age band? Changes of age, I think, works. It was some kind of red typing. Changes of age, I'll give it 14. Right? Doesn't really change a lot, but. Uh, uh, okay, let's make it bigger. 20. It's not changing like that. Okay. So I think we're done with this file. I think, I think nothing is left, right? Or do you want to add something? Hello, sir. Yeah. Sir, can we change the color of uh, the number four, 454, 272, that the number in the middle of the, the bar, uh, graph? Four, four. Can we change? Where? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, like 272, 182. Uh, yes, sir. What is 454 you have seen? Uh, 272, yeah, you can change that. How? Very simple. Uh, okay, let me first. X axis, Y axis, legend. Yeah. Uh, I think. In data label is there, I think. Yeah, yeah. Here is data level. So in data level, you can change the colors, right? These are data levels. Can we change the colors? I think so. What color do you want? Uh, this. This change. 
I think white is better, right? Ah, yes. Yeah, white looks more profitable. So I think yeah, you can't edit this more than that. So one more thing is, see, in a particular graph, thirty-five to forty-four, twenty-five to thirty-four. ंग I want to reorder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Descending order. Yeah. Not descending order. Like under twenty-five goes first, and then twenty-five to thirty-five. I I'm not taking care of the values of employees. Okay, I don't want to order it in the values of employees. I want to order it in the uh, age range. Okay, so if I want to put the least age in front, and then second, then third, then fourth. Okay, so twenty-five goes first, then twenty-five to thirty-four, then thirty-five, then forty-five, then fifty-five. Okay, okay. So how do we do that? Uh, we have to go to transform data. Okay. And then transform data. Any idea? Those who have done transform data before, because it all was already done in the previous class. I think transform data. This section I have explored transform data. Okay. I think uh, with this exercise, we'll learn a lot about how to reassign values. I think some uh, people who have done the previous session. Any idea? How to make a conditional column? Anyone? This must know. I think on the screen. Yeah, Nandini was there, and uh, I was doing it on her screen only. See, add column, conditional column. Okay. So, at least tell me the condition now. So, in condition, let's uh, explain the conditional column. Okay. So, in conditional column, there is a column name, there is operator, operator is plus minus all that stuff, and there is a value and there is output. Okay. Okay. So, what is our condition? Let's make a condition. So that we can arrange it in like ascending order of the ages. So first, let's give it a name. Okay, age sort age. Right okay. now, column name age band operator equals value under. Twenty-five. Okay. Output is one. Yeah. Follow this very clearly. Be clean with it. Each band equals twenty-five to thirty-four. This is a very important thing. Okay. This conditional column will be like. Uh, Very important. Thirty-five to forty-one, and also remember. So I'm saying under twenty-five. I will do 
have i'll have to completely and uh, check for like uh, the upper case lower case so if u is in upper case this won't work okay so you have to check if u is under the lower case or upper case i think u is under the lower case that's why i'm typing under okay. so i'm working with the values here okay. there is nothing else and i'm making an additional column so age band equals 45 to uh, 45 to what can anybody say what is 45 to 54 right i think i think it was 54 and then i think uh, do i need another clause I don't think I need another clause because I can give an else. Yeah, yeah, if else. If you can, you guys have done programming before. So, see, these are one, two, three, four. Okay, else five. Now I'm, I'm explaining the process. Age band equals if age band is equal to under 25. Okay, then output is one. If age band is equal to 25 to 34, output is 2. If age band equals 35 to 30, so I've done this. If age band equals this, on 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So there's a new column. See, sort age 3, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Why? Why 1, 2? Because I've done the same thing in attrition count also. When I made attrition count, also, this also was not in the file that I've given you. Okay. You can change the HR data file. This was your last file. Years with current manager. This is the additional file that I've created. Attrition count. Okay. So I've done yes as one, no as zero. Okay. So people have left the company one, not left the company zero. Why? Because taking a numeric value is better than taking a string value. Because when you want to make an algorithm, okay, a numeric value is more important. You will also understand why I've told this because when I'm creating a new measure, you will see. So this is our sortage. Okay, three, four, three, four, three, four. And let's change it to, I think, yeah, is it in? Uh, in uh, I think I need to do it in whole number. Yeah, full number is perfect. Okay, understood this process. Conditional column. Very important step. Sir, how to get conditional column? In our uh, four bay not showing condition. Add column? Conditional column. Conditional column. column. In conditional column, if you open, see. If, as I've showed you, if age band is equal to under 25, output is 1. So, if age band was like, if somebody age was under 25, nobody has under 25. Okay. For example, if somebody's age was uh, under uh, uh, what? Mm, 45 to 54. If, for example, this conditional column, if uh, age band equal to 45 to 54, output is 4. Okay. So see? Four is the output, and in the second, okay. Remember in the second test for four, four, okay. So when you see the age band, it also show four. See, forty-five to fifty-four. When it's showing four, it's calculating if the you you know what is if else is right. It's calculating if the age band is forty-five to fifty-four. If it is forty-five to fifty-four, then print four. Correct. This simple if else. Understood or not? How do we not show you add column also, sir? Add column? Yes, sir. Yeah, see, you want to know how to make a conditional column, right? So first, we have to go to add column. And then we have to make a conditional column. 
how to make a conditional column if you understood or not uh, conditional column is understood sir but a conditional column is, is not showing in our not showing yes sir have you gone to transform data go to transform data then you will have add column then you have conditional column Now, we click this page band, okay? And we have some column tools. Uh, okay, sort age, I have this column. So, sort by column, and here we will choose sort age. Okay, the new column that you have created. Where is sort age? Very shortage. We save this one second. Transform data. Okay, I think we didn't apply this now. Yeah, now I think it will go. So Okay, let's go to save age band and sort by column. Yeah, see, sort it. Now, our next step is I'm going here. Sort axis, okay. And in our sort axis, we'll have uh, what? I think it is employee count. We'll sort by age band. So in age band, it shows as like that. Um, why? Okay, we'll sort legend also. Okay. Uh, what is it? How? In sort legend, having gender, sir. We, yeah. In sort legend, then, without having. Yeah, yeah. So that won't work. Sort ascending. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. So this much is clear. And Uh, hmm. Some problem in the table.
Okay. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to see good. I'll see what is the error. I'll... Something is wrong. But I'll see it. I'll see it. Probably. In the next class, we'll uh, dive deeper into this. Uh, for now, other than, other than this, any more questions? I'll, uh, I'll solve this. Okay. I'll solve this and then uh, give you solutions. Any more questions from this? No, sir. Okay. So, also, see. So, what you've done is now see the implementation. When I'm taking up this, the RD department, okay. Overall employees is 961, attrition is 133, okay. And see, now we're looking at the proper uh, benefits of this. Attrition rate is 13484, active workload is 828. Okay. If we click on uh, this sales department, it will show me the sales department numbers. We have 446 overall employees, attrition 92, rate is 20, active employees 354. So if I am an HR and I want to know that what's uh, which department is having more attrition percentage, okay. How do I do that? See, R&D has 13%, sales has 20%, and uh, what? HR has 19%. So sales has most number of people leaving the job. Also, let me click on this data. Uh, so there is, what is this? This is mail. So overall 337 employees of uh, 25 to 34 age, okay, mail. 337 employees, at reason 69, rate is 20, at employees 268. Let's look at the females. 270 employees, at reason 43, active employees 174. Okay, at reason is 19%. So this is what the benefit of doing all this is. Okay, it's all connected, right? So it will show you how people have left. Okay, what is the average age? See? So what is the average age of uh, this? 25 to 34, okay. So 30 is the average age of 30, 25 to 34 group of people. Okay. What is the average age of 45 to 54 uh, group of people? 49, okay. So do show you. And the females, it is, and the males, there is a bit less. Okay, 48.60. So these are the kind of data that you can work upon. Okay, just click a graph and then you'll get to know about it. So yeah, good practical implementation. So we'll end our class for today uh, on here. What you can do is, problem for you is to fix this. Okay, how to make under 25 at first and then over here at last, okay. And in that order. I think uh, the conditional uh, uh, column will work, but yeah, we'll have to, the sorting, uh, I think there's some problem with the sorting. So figure it out, okay. In next class, we'll uh, complete this dashboard, okay? Which will happen mostly on next Tuesday. So, see you next Tuesday, okay? I don't think any questions? No, no, sir. Yeah. So, and your uh, task for today is 
to make a dashboard as Tridev has already made three dashboards, which is a very good thing. Your task is to make more dashboards and KPIs will be different. Okay. This overall employee attrition, attrition rate, active employees, overall employees and active employees is good. Okay. Like these KPIs make some different KPIs. Okay. Make a different pie chart, make a different bar chart. Right. This is your uh, assignment for the day and average age. Okay. Make some more KPIs, make it look more presentable. Use a different uh, background other than gray. Okay. Make your own color combination. So make a uh, like a pink background or like a orange background. Okay. Make your own background and make your own uh, designs. And then let's see if you guys remember how to do it. Okay. These are data levels. These are legends and these are titles. This is background of title. This is canvas. Okay. This is all the terms. So I'll see you next Tuesday. Okay. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, ending the session for today. Thank you. You guys can leave. Yes, sir. Bye. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh.